Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here at DocSports.com and welcome to the update for Thursday, June 27th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, real cool way to do it, you click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or any other capper over at DocSports.com. Great way to give it a trial run, free $60 account. And all you got to do to get started is click on the link below the video. Video. All right, real quick reminder that we're going to jump into this stuff, get to the free pick because we're talking about a couple of early games on Thursday. Again, a reminder next week, and I'll tell you exactly when as we get into Sunday, but next week I am going to have um, my NFL recap of all the over under win totals bets we made. We're going to make that nice and clear, put them on one or two videos for you so you'll be able to check those out. We'll also be jumping into college football. We'll talk about some conference futures and some over unders in college football. We cleaned up in those categories last year over at DocSports.com. In fact, college football NFL combined, uh, we were number one at DocSports.com last year, hit about 62% of our college football and NFL plays combined. We've been red hot in football over the past few years. Don't miss out on this season. So that's all coming up in the next several days over at DocSports.com, and we'll tell you exactly when, at least 24 hours in advance. As far as what's going on today, I've got three premium picks. Baseball, first of all, we won yesterday, three and one this week. We'll look to make it five and one. It's a short card. It's an abbreviated card on Thursday's baseball slate. We have it in like two plays though, and we're getting to it quickly today, the free pick, because it's a day play, and both premium picks, well, one premium pick is also an early play on Thursday. So here's what you get when you go to DocSports.com. You're going to get an early day game, a daytime dominator. You're going to get a late game, an underdog. 2-0 and is what we're looking to do on Thursday, and we'll call it a day-night doubleheader, a two-pack, if you will. Day-night baseball, early and late. Let's go 2-0. and Let's extend this week's run to 5-1 and in Major League Baseball. We're in the WNBA on Thursday, a four-unit knockout. Got to tell you, we lost last night's top play on Connecticut. Uh, just wrong side. They were never really in it. They had one little portion of the fourth quarter where they came roaring back. They took the lead with about six and a half minutes to go. Thought, yeah, maybe outside shot to at least come close to that spread, but they didn't get it done, and they got beat by one point outright as the chalk. But we're right back in action, and we're 71% uh, on our current run in the WNBA. So go grab day-night baseball, two games, plus the WNBA, all three plays available Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. All right, let's jump right into our free pick here. We look to get back in the win column with our free picks. This one's an early one also. It's not the same as our early premium pick, but it is another early day game. Lots of day games on Thursday. It's the Phillies hosting the Mets. We're going to back Aaron Nola here. Here's a few reasons why. First of all, uh, you got to know when to jump in on a starting pitcher and take a shot. You got to know when to back off. Aaron Nola's making it very easy for us uh, to at least gauge when we should stay away from him and when we should look to play on him. Uh, definitely staying away from him on the road. Definitely playing on him or looking to do so uh, when he's at home. You look at his last several starts at home, last 30 plus innings pitched. Uh, he's only given up about six earned runs and it's like 27 and two thirds innings pitched. Uh, excuse me, 30 base runners in 27 and two thirds innings pitched and he's only given up six earned runs over that time span. So you can see how well he's pitched at home this season as opposed to on the road. And we're definitely going to play him here. We like the matchup against Zach Wheeler. Four of his last five road starts, he's been rocked for the most part. And if you look at his overall road work this year, it's an ERA north of five. Then you got to throw in the Mets bats. They're averaging 3.3 runs per game in road day action against right-handers. I just don't think they're going to be able to keep up with the Phillies in this one. So we're going to back Nola and the Phils early daytime action on Thursday. And don't forget about those plays on Thursday. Two premium pick personal baseball plays a day game and a night game, plus WNBA, all available 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Don't forget also, CFL eight-unit play goes, or will be posted, I should say, at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Today, on Thursday, CFL price is discounted. We are 2-0 so far this year. We hit a seven-unit and a five-unit. 107 and 74 is our long-term CFL run over the past decade, and I've got a rare eight-unit play, first one of the season, going this week. It'll be posted at 6 p.m. Eastern on Thursday, DocSports.com. Again, the free, pay, uh, free play is the Phillies and Thursday's baseball. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Let's put Thursday in the win column right back here Friday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.